All right, people. There ain't but so many things in beekeeping that uh, requires bamboo and a bucket. Guess what? Had to go up. <laughs> I had to go fish out my day bat hat. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> Last July, I didn't think anything of it. I mean, I just playing with the bees and got a pocket swarm up here and did a bee beard with the thing. And uh, got a little decent video of it. My sister took pictures with her camera and we posted it on... Uh, I had pictures on Facebook and I put the video on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel at the time wasn't no size much. What, 100 and, 100 and some, 200 subscribers, something like that. And, and so... <laughs> Anyway, last December, I get contacted by a producer, uh, uh, MTV's Ridiculousness, and they wanted to have that B-Beard clip, so I said, okay, and signed the proper paperwork. And got it done. Well, what was it, February or March? Search Beard Pioneers on YouTube. You'll find that little clip of me. February, March, somewhere along in there, they aired it. I said, I was watching the thing religiously trying to catch it. Well, I'm subscribed to Day Dance, uh, well, like Day Dance page on on Facebook, and so I I get uh, little updates and stuff. And somehow I missed the airing of it, and they posted they posted a picture of me on there. That was the first I knew of it, and so I got my little Day Dance hat there and to fish that baby out. Just so happened I was wearing it. Uh, um, I got several of them I wear off and on cycle through, you know, and, and uh, just so happened that day I was wearing a day dance hat and that made their day, so I'm going to see if I can't make it again. We got waggle dancing going on up here, big time waggle dancing. It might be a mating flight swarm, but I doubt it. All of my boxes here right now should not, none of them should be on mating flights. I got wings clipped on queens out here, so... Unless it's a virgin queen swarm, I've either got somebody else's or bee trees or something. Yeah. Let me get the bamboo in the bucket and see what's happening. Let's see if we get these things down. I believe I can reach it off. Here we go, people. Looks like she's mated. Um, I don't know unless... I'm gonna clip her just like she is anyway. and Stick her in the cage. She's stretched out. I, I, it shouldn't have been one of mine unless somehow... I don't know. Alright, so I got her clipped. I'll mark her later. That thing's crazier than a bat. It's a little black one, so I don't know. She might have... I come out one of mine. Yeah, so, see if they'll respect them. Yeah, I'll go back up in the tree. Yeah, let's see what we got.
They might respect her well enough to get a beard out the deal, I don't know. Yeah, let's do it like that last year. Uh, they all over that cage. She's a stretched out looking queen. I don't know. Uh, so I've made it. Surely we've got enough battery to do this thing. I don't know, people. Should we do them like last year? I believe I got enough wire on that thing to hang them. Still probably ought to go get more. Be back with you in just a minute. Alrighty people, here we go again. Pocket Swarm and V-Beard. if we get this better this year. <laughs> you always do better, don't you? Right there. I just wish I had more bees in this swarm, people. That's the only problem. See, last year I was standing right out there and I missed it on video. It's all the fun. Check to see what kind of battery we got. I hate them. Yeah, we got battery. No big deal. Need more bees, people. Still about half of my airborne, I think, where it looked. That ain't enough for a good good full beard like I had last year. I thought last year's swarm was a little bitty one. Apparently it was big enough to get it done. Get another selfie from Facebook, I reckon. This is really no miraculous feat. Uh, honestly, it's not. Um, <laughs> you see the killer bee videos, you know, where the classic guy goes running across the field fanning and waving and carrying on? Uh, really, <laughs> he had to do the same thing I'm doing, to, you know, for the footage. And, and 
honeybees for the most part, particularly when they're in swarm mode, even if this is a, a rather mean colony still, uh, nothing much to it. But you have to completely get over the, the fear and the phobia of, of an insect crawling on you uh, to do this because, I mean, I was a little nervous last year. It might, it might have showed or may not have. But, but, uh, this one's a small one. If a, a good pound or two of bees hanging off your chin is interesting. The reason I did that one shirtless last year is because they crawl up your sleeves and carry on. And uh, when you go to remove the swarm, you you wind up getting stung. There it is, people. I hope that battery's holding up. It'd be a shame if that thing could die. In the it feels like it's some more coming. Once you handle bees enough, you get over that that uh, that phobia. The first one to get over is fanning them, swatting at them. For me, nearby had to handcuff my, tie my hands to myself, to keep them doing it. You know, eventually you get over that. You have to be careful not to breathe directly on them too. They despise that. That's the very thing people will tell you to do is blow on a frame of bees. Uh -huh. Bees hate carbon dioxide. It's an anesthetic that puts them to sleep. They respond to being touched because they headbutt each other in the hive to communicate. So if you want to move out of your way on a frame or... Probably like that too. They respond to touch. They're used to it. See that? They don't get alarmed by that when they're touched. But if I were to blow on them, that'd be a different ball game. You see picture or video of me putting my face down on a hive. I'm not I'm not I'm not exhaling. I'm inhaling slightly. But when doing one of these, the only way you're going to get stung, if one crawls under my arm and I pinch her, or if one crawls under my arm against my jeans and I pinch her and roll her, that's about the only way you get stung. I'm, no, I'm nothing more than a, than a tree branch. It just so happens I'm alive, but they don't care. All they're worried about is surrounding that queen and finding somewhere to go, which I just fixed a hive shake them in just a little bit ago before starting this last video up. Lose your fear of honeybees, people, and then keep some. That's all I can tell you. Fascinating little suckers. Alright, I'm going to pause the video if I still got any battery left. And, and uh, yeah, no battery alarms. I'll show y'all shaking this thing just a minute. I'm going to put them in this little, uh, this little box I got open right there. I need to get them a frame of brood from somewhere. But, uh, yeah, the sensation of them clinging to your skin, it actually burns because their feet, their feet are abrasive. They, you know, they can cling to anything and it actually kind of stings them hanging on, but they haven't been stung yet, people. As I said last year, it ain't over though. <laughs> so, <clears throat> ridiculousness ran up on this thing last year, and the question was why? Well, the answer is because I can. 
Day that ridiculousness, this one's for you, baby. Pocket swarm, just big enough to fit in your pocket. And be beard. May the 30th, 2015. There it is. I guess, uh, I guess we're gonna have 2015 edition of This Is How You Shake a Swarm. <laughs> oh boy, let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna go right there in that little box. I need to get a frame of brood and somebody and stick you in there for them at some point. I'm just gonna throw the queen in there for a moment. Shake a Swarm 2015 edition. Just like that right there. And I can smoke them off my neck and they'll smell the queen down there and go. Actually, it would be a wise thing to It's really that simple. Got a couple bees on my back, but over that, we got it done. Okay, so what you saw me do is shake that swarm in that empty box, didn't have any frames wired. Went back down there and wired the super frames, and here we go. This is what I'm going to do to, uh, to prop them up a little bit. What we got is a, is a frame of emerging brood. As you can see, I do mean emerging. If you look at that little fuzzy sucker running around there. I mean, they literally are crawling right out to cells right now. There's one right there. Little baby bees. So this will babysit them. Get them off to a good start, considering they're about all old field bees. Get y'all where you can see down in this box. No blocking entrance doing this. That ought to get you close enough. It's going to be a ball of bees in your bottom left corner, probably. I believe that's right. And on the lid. Well, I was wrong. The first time. No, it won't be the last. See, there's just enough bees in the box to cover this. Uh... That swarm's literally no size at all. It's a, it's a marvel. It looked that big on on my chin. Teeny little thing. Unless they started foraging by now. Let me put you here. This is what we're gonna do. Well, but I like that queen I cut out the other day. Ain't no difference. See, I couldn't salvage any of that comb, so. Um, let me just get that in here and get a hold of her. I need to take her out and mark her when, uh, So. The other queen then going to lay in that right there. Good places, anyhow. See, maybe that'll stick on there long enough for me to stick it up against the wall. That's really it. It's just enough to babysit them. 
or the swarm bees, just enough swarm bees to babysit that brood, get it hatched and fed. Now that's a functioning little baby colony right there. And then same way with the cutout one, if I choose to keep that queen or whatever. If I choose to pinch her and mate another one right there, all I gotta do is kill her and stick a cell in there. Whatever. We got options. That's that now. Need to get her a number assigned and an index card for that high. Pocket swarm number one, 2015, people. There it is.